Today, we are excited to announce Lambda 2, our most advanced conversational AI yet. We are at the beginning of a journey to make models like these useful to people, and we feel a deep responsibility to get it right. And to make progress, we need people to experience the technology and provide feedback. We opened Lambda up to thousands of Googlers who enjoyed testing it and seeing what it was capable of. This yielded significant quality improvements and led to a reduction in inaccurate or offensive responses. That's why we have made AI Test Kitchen. It's a new way to explore AI features with a broader audience. Inside the AI Test Kitchen, there are a few different experiences. Each is meant to give you a sense of what it might be like to have Lambda in your hands and use it for things you care about. The first is called Imagine It. This demo tests if the model can take a creative idea, you give it, and generate imaginative and relevant descriptions. These are not products, they are quick sketches that allow us to explore what Lambda can do with you. As you see, the user interfaces are very simple. Say you're writing a story and you need some inspirational ideas. Maybe one of your characters is exploring the deep ocean. You can ask what that might feel like. Here, Lambda describes a scene in the Mariana Trench. It even generates follow-up questions for you on the fly. You can ask Lambda to imagine what kind of creatures might live there. Remember, we didn't hand program the model for specific topics like submarines or bioluminescence. It synthesized these concepts from its training data. That's why you can ask about almost any topic, Saturn's rings, or even imagine being on a planet made of ice cream. <laughs> Staying on topic is a challenge for language models. Say you're building a learning experience. You want it to be open-ended enough to allow people to explore where curiosity takes them, but stay safely on topic. Our second demo tests how Lambda does with that. In this demo, we have primed the model to focus on the topic of dogs. It again starts by generating a question to spark conversation. Have you ever wondered why dogs love to play fetch so much? And if you ask a follow-up question, you get an answer with some relevant details. It's interesting. Uh, it thinks uh, it might have something to do with the sense of smell and treasure hunting. You can take the conversation any way you want. Maybe you're curious about how smell works, and you just want to dive deeper. You'll get a unique response for that, too. No matter what you ask, it'll try to keep the conversation on the topic of dogs. If I start asking about cricket, which I probably would, the model brings the topic back to dogs in a f I do think dogs would miss. <laughs> now, the challenge of staying on topic is a tricky one. It's an important area of research for building useful applications with language models. And this last demo is my favorite, so we're going to do it live. Let me turn it over to Josh. Thanks, Sundar. As a team, we've learned a lot on this project. And this will be the first ever live demo of Landa from stage. Are you all ready to see how it works? <laughs> all right, here I am in the AI Test Kitchen app. I'm going to open up this demo called Listit. Now, Listit explores if Lambda can take a complex goal or topic and break it down into relevant subtasks. It can help me figure out what I'm trying to do and generate useful ideas I might not have thought of. If you love to-do lists like I do, this is a dream come true. I'm going to tab Start, and this is a project I've been thinking a lot about lately. Plant a vegetable garden. I'll send this off to Lambda, and there it is. On the fly, it's come up with these different steps and broken it down into this list of subtasks. I can see things like make a list of what I want to grow, the location. I can also regenerate a list on the fly to get even more ideas. Now, what's interesting about these is I can quickly drop into one of them. Let's say this one, like what might grow in the area. And you can see it will give me further suggestions. I can keep going, breaking this down, where eventually it gives me a list of what I might want to plant, like tomatoes or lettuce or garlic. We'll keep garlic out of it this time. 
One of the other things Lambda does is not just break down lists, but you can generate a tip. So here, when I tap generate a tip, oh, it's never seen this one before, actually. It's telling me if I have a small yard or patio, it gives me different vegetables I might be able to grow. Now, when we think about products like this and experiences like this, it's much more than just coming up with a list of vegetables to grow. If I scroll back up, you can see all the different pathways that Land is helping me think through and giving me tips along the way. And just like that, this whole task feels a lot less daunting. Back to you, Sundar. Thanks, Josh. Just like the other demos, you can input all kinds of goals, whether it's moving to a new city or learning an instrument. These experiences show the potential of language models to one day help us with things like planning, learning about the world, and more. Of course, there are significant challenges to solve before these models can truly be useful. While we have improved safety, the model might still generate inaccurate, inappropriate, or offensive responses. That's why we are inviting feedback in the app so people can help report problems. And we'll be doing all of this work in accordance with our AI principles. Our process will be iterative, opening up access over the coming months, and carefully assessing feedback with a broad range of stakeholders, from AI researchers and social scientists to human rights ex experts. We'll incorporate this feedback into future versions of Lambda and share our findings as we go.